Hi, I'm Cecile Renaud from Tallahassee, Florida, and this tape is going to show you some things on team defense. This tape on team defense is going to show you quite a few things, how important your blockers are and how you set up your defenders around that. We're going to take you through four different defenses, uh, rotation defense, perimeter defense, a man back defense, and then also a man up defense. So hopefully you'll have a variety of defenses that you can use if you want to block cross court or down the line and really get your players in a position where they'll be successful. They'll know that they've only got three steps to cover the court and really pursue every ball. What I'd like to do is talk about the variety of players that we have out here. When we look at our middle blockers, we're trying to make sure that they are ready and strong, big hands. She can move laterally pretty well. So when she gets up here to block, she looks really intimidating. Big hands, big hands, make them big, squat down, ready position. All right, so all of our defenders are going to be up here like this. This will be our left side hitter. She's going to have to be very good at blocking the setter. As the setter gets ready to dump, helping out on quick sets if the middle's hitting, and also on blocking slides. So she's got to be very good at reading some different things. Our right side player that we've switched to over here on defense, this is usually our setter, or we also call her an opposite if she's not our setter. Right now, this is our setter in a 5-1 offense. We're going to always try and keep her on the right side in the front row and in the back row. She'll always try and contact the second ball, OK? Then in the back row, we've got our base position. Let's stick your arm out there for me, left side blocker. We want you about an arm's length from the, the sideline just to start with. Our left back and our uh, right back, we want you just about halfway in between the center line and the end line. And if I drew a line down the middle of the court, the sideline, you're halfway there. Okay, so I call it kind of the middle of the middle. And you're going to be low in a ready position. Let me see your defense, like protecting your shoes ready to try and defend the ball. And then you're back here, you're in the middle back, about your body height from the end line. Okay, so this is our base defensive play. We're gonna go, every time the ball goes to the other side of the net and we finish our offense, we're gonna go back to this base defense. Okay, we're gonna go through about four different types of defenses today with a variety of places of where we're gonna block. Let me start with the first one, is gonna be called a uh, man back defense or middle back deep defense. Everything is based around the block. The block is our first line of defense. So she's going to come on over. Let's see here. Let's show them our blocking steps here real quick. As soon as she sees the ball goes over here, she takes a big step. Let's do it again a little bit slower. Okay, a baby step, baby step, crosses over, and she should be here on that last step. Let's get here in three. All right, a baby step. Crossover, good. She lands on two feet, and they're going to go up. This defense, we're going to block down the line. That means this right side blocker will not let us hit down the line. Now let's keep the ball a little bit off the net. Come back up just a little bit. If the ball is set tight, right on top of the net, we always take the line. We're always on the ball. Okay, if it's off the net, like most, not too far off, right here. Okay, we've got her down the line. She goes right next to her. The outside blocker sets the block and she tells us where to go. The other people on this are off blocker, drops off the net, and I'd like her straddling the line. Okay, you're going to have anything inside the blocker's hands. So put your hands up blockers. You should be able to see the ball inside the blocker's hands. Anything over your waist or so is out. Can you dig overhead? All right, that's a good spot for you. Our left back has moved back over here. She's also going to see anything inside the blocker's hands, but she's back here a little more. She's kind of in the deep corner. Our middle back person, or position number six, is going to see the ball in between the seam. Show me a big hole, blockers. OK, you're going to be in the seam about your body height from the inline, and you are going to come up 
and play in here right in behind the block, right in the middle, right here. You're equally as close to that line as you are to the center line. Now, what it looks like, it looks like we've got this position of our court open, but we've based our defense on the block. So it's important that that blocker not let us hit anything hard down here. If he hits a ball over here, it's going to have to go over the blockers, and you're going to be running through it right there. Okay, can you show me a run through? All right, good. Well, run through, not jump over. All right, here we go. Let's go to base defense, and let's try it again real quick. Ready? Everybody know what we're talking about in our ready position? Blockers should be knees bent, hands up high. Now we've set it outside. You've watched the setter. The set's outside. Okay, Mike, you can throw it in, and let's play the ball out. Okay, we want to try and push it outside there as much as we can. All right, base defense, keeping your eye on the ball the whole time. All right, who's responsible for the setter? <clears throat> Am I in the front row or the back row? You don't know. That's one of the things you've got to make sure you know. If I'm in the front row, you're going to be in here with me, unless we've got another hitter back here. Okay, can I get another hitter right back here, please? So what we need, we're going to always have three hitters, and let's have you right in the middle. You're the middle hitter. You don't need a ball. He's an outside hitter. I'm the setter. You need to know where I am. That's very important. I'm in the front row now. We've got a middle attacker. We've got an outside attacker. If my other outside, let's have you go over there. If she's back there, and I'm in the front row, who do you have? You've got her, and now you've got me, OK? If we pass it tight to the net, and I can dump the ball, you've got to go up with me. That's called commit blocking. And you two really have to be ready. It's your responsibility to dig this up. OK, so let's say the setter dumps the ball. Everybody has their hands high in a ready position. You've got her. You don't have me. Here we go. All right, we've got to make sure we have a good contact. Here we go again. Ready? I'm the setter. Scoot over there just a little bit. You stay in front of me. You take this shoulder. And you've got back behind her, OK? Here we go. OK, just set it to her right shoulder. Here we go. Ready? How do I, if I'm in the front row or back row, somebody's going to be calling it out. She's front row. All right, let's say I turn around and set it back here to this girl. She's got a ball. Let's hold it up there. Outside blocker, are you down the line or cross court? What's the name of this defense? Man back or six back, or person back defense. We're, we're really describing number 34 back there. That's how we're basing this defense. OK, so hands up. She cannot hit hard down the line. You come up. Middle back, you see the ball in the seam. OK, so you get over there and read. Go that way a little bit. Now, let's not keep the ball. The ball's not going to be on top of the net, so keep it off the net here just a little bit. Hands up, blockers. Everything's based on you, so you got to keep those hands up. How'd you get in that position? No, OK, you've got to see the ball inside the blocker's hands. You're going all the way to the deep corner. And you are the off blocker now, and you just drop back, almost kind of straddle the line a little more. Good. Anything she can dig at her head. All right, how far is it from this corner to that corner? It's 42 feet. How far is it from the middle line to the end line? 29, 6, or 30 feet, depending on where they're playing it. OK, so you want to make sure that you stay back here really far. OK? The most th important thing about defense is we want to try and get all these people in a position that they can play everything within three steps. If we've done a good job, they play everything within three steps. Other than that, it's somebody else's ball. OK, the other thing we want to make sure is that we put them in a position where they're only responsible for about 120 degrees. In other words, if I have this person right here, come over here, please, and I can't ask her to get to the ball in that corner and get to the ball in this corner. That's 180 degrees. I'm looking more at 120. Show me what that is. How far is 120? Yeah, but you're going to definitely go that way. So I'm going to ask you to be responsible for about 120. This is 90, you know, 90 degrees. So I expect you to cover every ball between here and there. All right, is that fair enough? OK, let me see your 120 degrees. All right, that's pretty good. So you're going to cover the balls this way and up the line. All right, what have you got? That's about 180, not that much. 
probably straight ahead like this and back. What have you got? Okay, but do you feel comfortable that you can get everything within three steps? All right, let's keep your hands down, ready in a defensive position, okay? All right, where's our attacker right here? Everybody know what they can get to in three steps? Where's the goal for us on defense? We want to dig the ball up to the middle of the court. It'd be nice if we could get over here to the right side, but it doesn't have to be that accurate. Just dig it up high and hanging right here so our setter can step in and set somebody. All right, attacker, here we go. Throw the ball over there like you're attacking. Good, cover. Everybody cover a hitter. How do we cover a hitter? Good, so we've got three people up there real tight. Setter, come on in, and you guys stay back there deep. Then you transition back to defense. How do you get there? Do you stand up and turn around and take your eyes off your opponents? No, let's cover again real quick. Cover, good. Base defense, quick, keep your eye on the ball. All right, attacker's over here. Nice job. The other thing that you're doing a good job of is you're not getting in a straight line. Let's step up here a little bit. Most teams get in a problem and you step back. Is they all get lined up here and they don't know who goes in front and who goes behind. It's really important that we stay staggered so there is no confusion. If a ball gets hit in this seam right here, who has that? You have short and you're going behind. So let me see that. All right, good. If the ball's hit, the hands down. If the ball's hit in here, who's going in front and who's going behind? Get back there. Pardon me? I think you're going to front and she's going to go behind. You're actually closer to the ball. Okay, let's go over here. And if the ball's hit over here, who's got it? It's all you. All right, because she's up there for tips. Again, we're basing this on a strong block. We'll decide what kind of defense to play based on the hitter and the offense that they use. This defense is good because the middle back doesn't have to move very much. We've got to make sure that she's ready. She can read in the seam. And here we've got someone to pick up tips and off speed. And that's going to be important too. If you play against a team that tips a lot, this is very good. If you play against a team that doesn't hit down the line a lot and you're not afraid of a hard hit, over our blocker, this is good too, okay? So anything that might come over them, you'll just run through, deep corner, you've got, okay? Where's the weakness on this defense? Maybe, I don't know if it's the middle of the court. Can you get here in three steps? It might be that one if you can't run down. If you need to shift over that way a little bit, you might want to shift over. Let's have you shift over a little bit. You stay in here and stay low, and you've just got little tips and everything right here, okay? Can you go get that for me? Ready? Tip. Good. Run through it, pass it up, and we'll transition out. All right, let's see another hit from this. Good. All right, transition back to defense, keeping your eyes on us up here. Okay, what about a middle attacker? If we attack just with a quick hit, we might want... No, I'd rather have you up. Okay? I'd rather have you up. If she comes up, well, how do we shift over? You have to come all the way up for a tip. You get in a seam, blocker's hands up. You get in a seam right here. You have a hard hit right there, you're perfect, and you have tips right there. So we've balanced the court, keep your hands up again. We've balanced the court pretty well. Now why would I pull this blocker in here? Most people are right-handed and most people hit this way pretty easily, so it's easier for you to block. If you don't block for some reason and you get down and you don't get, make it in, you're back, you pick up hard hit, hard hit. You just look for him to go wherever. You're kind of the uh, wanderer on this one, okay? All right. What if we want, what if it's a high set in the middle and we want th all three blockers up? Is that okay? All three blockers come in here. Now what's open? Come in for a tip. You come in for a tip. All right, and what do you have? Everything. You're looking for us to go deep corner or deep corner. You're ready to run through it. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, let's try it again. Here we go. Ready? Good. What's the name of this defense? Man back or six back. That's the name of that position. Or person back. Okay. Let's switch the front and back row. 
switch front and back row. We would always have our setter switch to the right side because we feel like that's easiest for her to transition. And most of our players are right-handed, so she can transition right to this area. All right, let's try defense right over here. We're blocking down the line all the way over there. You read in between the seam right here. Uh, Brittany's come up, and she's got cross, uh, little soft shots. You've got hard cross court, anything that rolls along the net. And you've got back there, scoot over just a little bit more that way. OK. We feel like we've got it. Show me your 120 degrees you're responsible for. This is 90, 120. All right, good. That's 180. Yeah, that's better. Don't make yourself have to cover so much. Good. All right, so everybody feels comfortable. We don't want you to be able to go left and right equally well. Let's get ourselves in a position that we can cover everything. All right, let's go over another defense. And this one is called a perimeter defense. Base position. If we're going to set high outside over here, and this is called a perimeter defense, we're now going to block cross court. Middle back, you stay over there. The right back player drops off the net, and you go back about two thirds. So show me from your base position how you're going to get back there. Quickly turn and get back there. Almost a little for another further back. Another step. Really stretch it back there. Go, turn. Good. She's got hard hits down the line. So you give her that. All right? This is awfully hard to describe how far we want to give it to her, but I don't want her getting the whole court, her being him. OK, hands up. All right, I want you just to give her a little bit down the line. All right. You have sharp cross court. Keep your hands up. And you have sharp inside again. Take a step. You don't want to be standing out of bounds. Good. But you don't want to be in line with her. And where are you? OK, there really shouldn't be a seam. Now, why should there not be a hole in this block? Because we moved our outside blocker in. And that means our middle blocker, who's still got her hands up forever, doesn't have as far to go. So there's less chance that there's going to be a hole. So you might not have as much to do. OK? It's going to be real important that you're ready to chase the block off their hands and everything else. All right. OK, let's throw one in here and see if we're ready to go. Cover. Hold it a second. After we set, let's cover all the way in because guess what? We've got a block over here getting ready to play it back over. OK, transition back to your spot quickly. Keep your eyes open. Spike her out there. Cover all the way up. Oh, you come all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Hurry, quickly, all the way over, all the way back off. OK, all right, this is coverage. Let me show it. Let me see how your arms are going to be out and ready to go. OK, you have to take this seriously. The better the team you're playing against, the better they're going to block. All right, transition back, please. Keeping your eye on the ball up here. All right, we've got an attacker on that side. Quickly. Good. Perimeter. Let me see how you get back there again. Base, turn and run. Quick. Two thirds of the way back. Hold the ball up. You're giving her down the line. Scoot over. Cross court. You're going to give her the line. You're just right in the middle of the court behind their block. Not too far back there. And you step in just a hair right there. OK. Does everybody have their 120 degrees? Let me see. Right. Yeah, you, your left arm's going that way and up toward me. Brittany's got her area covered. How much is that? All right. Here we go. All right, blockers, arms up. OK, let's throw the ball in. Call mine. Dig it up to the middle. All right, transition back to defense. OK, what if we have a free ball? What's a free ball? That means no one spiking. All right, let's come back to base. All right, let me have a ball ready. We don't, there's not going to be a spiker. We call. OK, let's see our free ball, free ball reception again. Go back. Brittany, you come up. Yeah, when the setter comes out, you go there. So we've got a nice, what looks like a W. Here we go. Oh, my arm. Here we go. Cover. All right, 
Again, offensively, we're not going to try anything that we can't connect on. A lot of times we've practiced on, but we're trying to just show a variety of offenses here. All right, get back on our base defense. Spiker on this side. Okay, this is a perimeter defense. What's the weakness in this defense? The middle of the court. Who has all those? Who's going to run through this? All right, we're going to try and get the best athletic person out here. You're going to be back there but ready to come forward. You've got down the line, you've got in here, and you're going to have to run through it too. So let's give us a little lob shot in there. Somebody get it? Good. Nice job. So as we play back in the perimeter, you've got to be ready to move forward. We're in our base defense. High outside hitter, here we go. Ready on defense. Good pass. Cover. Nice job. Landed on back on defense. Good. Right here, a quick set in the middle. Heads up. Cover, because I'm going to be blocking. Defense right here. Base defense. A quick hit in the middle. You block or no block? Would you rather block or dig somebody? Block. If you can block, block. You come up inside, you've got tips right in here. I'm going to tip that whole area. You know how hard that is. You're in the hole all of a sudden. You're back there deep and you're ready to go. Here we go. Nice swing over there right side. We're getting that covered. Good. Defense right here. What's the name of this? Um, perimeter. perimeter. What's the weakness? All right. What are you responsible for? How many degrees? About 120. You want to stay down looking up at the ball. Okay, another one is called a rotation, a rotation defense. Same starting position out there, outside by the antenna. Hitter, let blocker, let's put your arm out by the antenna. Yeah, just to kind of position yourself, put your arm out. I just like them to start out there so they know where they are, and then they'll work themselves in. We might want to pack our blockers inside. Let's bring them inside. We might want it, not too far, just we might want to start with them inside if we're playing if we're playing against an offense where they run a lot of quick things in the middle, okay? If not, we might put them outside. But if they play a lot of quick things in the middle, then we're going to do this. If not, we'll put them outside, okay? So let's start outside just a little bit. All right, a rotation defense. What are we talking about rotating? Everybody rotates to a corner. You go back to that corner. You go to that corner. You come inside quickly. Corner, corner, off the net. You're over here blocking. We've got a hitter right here. All right, so we rotate to the corner. Middle back is now down the line. All right, she's got that covered. Are we blocking line or cross court, do you think? Across? Okay, do you see where you are? If you have a digger straight behind you, you're probably, you want to make sure that you're blocking cross court. We're trying a good job on a block. We either stuff the ball or we touch the ball or we channel it to a digger. So you can be very successful and never touch the ball, but they keep hitting it right back there at her, or they hit it over here at her, or they hit it deep at her, and you're doing a great job. Now, where's the weakness on this defense? Put your hands up again, blocker. Middle back. We don't have anybody in the middle back of the court. All right. Why not? Because these two blockers, should there shouldn't be a hole, and they should be real tight there. Our arms are so tired, aren't they? Okay, nice and strong. All right, who has the responsibility? We've got tips right here and off speed. If a ball comes in here, in between you two, you're going to go in front because you're closer and you're going to go behind. So let's see you do that real quick. Okay, good. Let's go back over here. And if we've got a ball that comes over here, who's going to go in front and who's going to go behind? Right. So you're really the farthest person back. You might not have anything to do because all those should be blocked. You're just the chaser. A lot of things that hit off their hands, you're going to go chase it. Okay? All right, let's switch and have a high outside hitter over there. Back to uh, base defense. All right, outside hitter over here. We rotate to the corner. Good. Are we blocking cross court? Good. We're blocking cross court, so you have, you're in the middle here. You always kind of want to balance yourself. Down the line, we're ready to dig. In the corner over there, ready to dig. And right here, we're ready. A ball goes in between you two. Who's got in front and who's got behind? Let's see. You got in front, you got behind. Brittany, a ball comes here in the middle. Who's got what? Nope. 
You're in front because you're closer and you're going to go behind. You're so far away from the ball, you're going to be the last one to touch it on everything. What do you have? Tips. Okay, tips and off speed, things off of the block, you're going to chase those out. Okay? All right, let's throw one in and see him play it out. Line by line. You're tight. You're over. Keeping your eye on the ball here, Brittany. Base position, then back. All right, here we go. Back, go. Throw it. Good. Back to base. Okay, outside hitter over there. Rotate quickly. Throw it. Good. Outside hitter over there. Quickly. Good. All right, cover, cover, cover. How do we cover over there? You've got a long way to go, especially because the setter's coming out of right back. Middle back has got a long way to go on this. One other type of defense that we can play, and the reason we put you two here in our base position, show me again your base position. How did we, I decide where to put you there? Why are you there? Because quick hitters, scoot back up here a little bit. Quick hitters, that's where they will hit the ball most of the time. If there's just one blocker up, it's going to come right at you. You might take a step just to the outside. Unfortunately, it's going to come right at you or right at you, okay? And it's a good place for you to cover if the setter goes up. Some people have them further outside and they call that help. I like you inside because the middle, that is too wide open for me. So you've got a lot of area to cover, especially on the second contact. As the pass comes up, you don't know what's going to happen. We're either going to set it, dump it, a quick hit. You two have really got to be on the ball. Okay? Let's go through one other defense, and then we'll put you through a few drills for all of these. And this is called a setter up defense or a person up defense. So Brittany, you're the setter. Let's have you move to the middle. Move you to the outside, please. Here we go quickly. Back up. We're going to change the base defense. You guys are up there ready to go. We're going to put the setter along behind the block. Okay? The setter's going to go behind the block. She's going to follow it wherever it is. She's going to go over here. She's going to come over here, wherever the ball goes. It's completely different. You're responsible for tips and everything else. All right, let's have, get ready to have a, a spike over here. All right, we're going to block cross court. So we've got you down the line. Let's make sure we give her plenty of room. Our setter's right there to play the ball. Deep corner, sharp inside. OK, let's throw a ball over. OK, back to transition, base, base. Base, quickly. All right, we've got a hitter outside here. Here we go, hitter outside. Everybody's all right. Hang on just a second. Back up just a little bit. Okay, what defense is this? Uh, setter, up. setter up. The setter's just following along. All right, let's throw it. <laughs> cover, cover, cover. Hurry, come on. We're waiting on you. You're back deep. You're deep. You're deep. Okay. We just want to make sure the court's balanced. Come up here really close. All right, let's back up. Setter's right there again, high outside. Quickly throw it in there. Good. Nice job. I'm going to hit quick. If you can get in there, get in there. You would want to shift this way now because you're trying to read the block. You're in here for tips now. All right, your hard hits. You're probably just going to play in the seam. Hands up, blockers. Okay, see yourself in the seam. All right, here we go. Cover. All right, good. Hands are going to be out when we cover. All right. The good thing about this is the setter's really close and can transition very quickly in and out of the setting position. Okay? If we switch it, if we go switch our front and back row, then all of a sudden whoever else we want to be our second setter, our right side, we'd move them in here, and then they can come in and set or help but we'd have our setter over on the right side. So I think those are, those are four different defenses you can use and make sure that your team can adapt. You can do it different teams that you play against, use different defenses. You might have a different defense you use for each attacker because that person likes to hit something, this one likes to hit something else. So you might block cross quarter line. It just depends on who your attacker is. I think really good teams take defense seriously and read and understand what's happening and move themselves in a position to be successful. So the first thing you do is you get yourself in a position 
And then let me let's see, let's go a, a left side attacker right here. There you go, Mike. Person up or man up. Now you were in it, you were in your base position, then you read what happens, so you get over there. Now you're gonna read the attacker, and what are you gonna read about the attacker? His shoulder. Most of the time I like to look at their face and sit, see which way his face is looking. If he's looking down the line, he's probably going to hit down the line. If he's looking cross court, he's probably going to hit at you. But most hitters, especially inexperienced ones, will hit and look at the same place. As they get to be more international players, they'll look this way and hit that way, and it's a little bit tougher. But blockers, if you'll know which way he's looking, you'll see. Now we want to make sure if you give them the line that you never reach to the outside. Because when we reach to the outside, there's nobody over there to help us. So always just go straight up and reach inside with our block. Straight up and reach inside. This is a defensive drill. We're going to just try and get our team to appreciate team defense. So we're going to just add on. We're going to continue to spike a ball until she touches three balls. Three balls. She's got to touch. OK, here we go. Just read and get on defense. Good. There's one ball. You don't have to hit it at her. Good. She's going to learn to get there. She's trying to read. Good. That's two. One more ball. OK, she's just guessing now. She's trying to read where they're going to hit. Nope, that's out. Here we go. Next ball. OK, next ball. Good. All right. She touched three balls pretty quickly. What I would do is go through and have everybody on the team come over here and experience this by themselves. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Now let's put two people out here and see how long it takes you to touch uh, three balls. OK, here we go. Ready? OK, there's one ball. Just throw it over here out of the way. Mike. Good, there's another one. And we might keep track of how many opportunities you get before you touch three balls. OK, reach nice and high, hitters. Here we go. Nice and high reach. Good. How many is that? Two balls for you? All right. OK, that's three balls. All right, would you like to have another teammate? Sure. OK, let's add another person over here. Put three on defense. Ready, here we go. Let's see how long it takes you to touch three balls. OK. Anybody talking? All right, that was down first. We got one touch. You guys need to spread out a little bit. Good, nice job, Brittany. Make sure you're nice and spread out. We need one more. That one's out. Let's go till we get one more. Okay, we got a touch on that. Is that three? All right, you get to add another person. Let's grab another one, quickly. We got four people on defense. Let's try and touch three balls. Here we go. All right, next one. Good, that's one. Here we go, just right back to me. What kind of defense is this? It's scaring me. Rover defense. Good, how many is that? Two? All right, let's get one more. Out. Here we go, another ball. Okay, is that three? Okay, let's add another person. Now you can have five people on defense. No, something organized. Five people on defense. Here we go. Five people on defense. Ready? Okay, that one's out. Next ball. Just want to try and touch three. Good. Nice play. All right, we touched. That's two. Okay, we've touched three, is that right? All right, let's add another person. Here we go. All right, let's try and touch three balls. All right, there's one. Okay, there's two. There's three. Okay. The whole point of that drill is it looks pretty scary out there with one person. And it might take you a while to try and touch them. I thought you did a great job of reading and coming in here and digging some overhead. 
Then you get a teammate with you, and it went pretty fast, a little faster. Then you got three people back here. If you had added a block at the earlier, you probably would have touched them. But I've seen college coaches just line up six deep back here. They forget about adding a blocker. So blockers, remember, touch a lot of balls. And you guys came in and almost touched all of those, didn't you? So is there any excuse that there's ever a ball that hits the floor without somebody getting to it? It's almost crowded out here now with six people, isn't it? All right, that's what I would think. So if you can think about just putting yourself out there, but now you've got all your teammates, if we get you in good positions, you should be able to touch, not only touch them, but dig them up in the right position. We're going to try and dig and transition out of the middle. You're going to get a point if you block a ball. You're also going to get a point if you dig and transition out of the middle. And we're going to try and get to three, and then every time we get to three, we'll switch the front and back row. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, we want to dig and transition out of the middle front, okay? Here we go, nice control defense. Let's play it in, next ball, here we go. You can go hit left side if you want to. All right, let's stay out here now, blocker. Let's remember our base defensive position, stay out there. Get all the way out there, and then all you're going to do is step inside. If she sees you way inside, she already knows she's got the line open, and we don't want her to know that. Okay? Here we go. Okay, middle, you've got to be up for quick every time. Here we go. Next ball. How many have we got? Zero. We're trying to get to three. Here we go. Almost. Make sure you know where those hands are facing. Next ball. That's out. Here we go. Next ball. Ready? Talking on defense. Okay. Low and tight and over the net. Make sure you penetrate as quickly as you can. Ready? Good. All right, so we've got one point. Now we need two more. Again, we either get it by blocking or digging and transitioning out of the middle. Nice job. Was that a block or did it not go over? I didn't hear anybody yell touch. We've got to make sure we yell touch. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Go middle, go middle. Perfect. Oh, we net fouled. But that's the right idea. That's why we're practicing this to make sure we get our transition. All right, we still have one. Nope, nice high reach now out there, attackers. Big high, as soon as you jump, snap. Oh, nice job. Okay, platform, make sure it's turned right back to the middle of the court. Here we go. Everybody, base defense, setter, are you in the front row? Setter, you can try and see if they're paying attention. Ready? Setter's front row. Nice job, setter. Here we go. Good. Dig. Transition. Nice job. That's two. Excellent. Up again. There we go. Don't forget. All right. Front and back row switch. Quickly. We're going to keep going. We're going to actually try and do this to maybe something like 30. So th we'll get three points, we'll switch. We'll get three points, we'll switch. Here we go. Nice, strong block. Oh. Make sure you stay on your feet now. Keep running through even when we're tired. Watch the ball there. Here we go. Setter's still up. Ready? OK, setter, where were you going? You were going to set a ball, but we didn't have anything to set yet. That's a real common error. You stay back there. You think defense first. Back up just a little bit more, and inside, you back up base right there. Here we go. 
Here we go. Let's run through it. Ready? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ready? Ball's in play. Base defense. Okay, there's a point. Let's switch our defense. Let's switch our defense. Let's go to man back or person back. You're going to block cross, or you're going to block line. You're going to be in the middle, and you're coming up short for tips. Here we go. Okay, does she go off your hands? Make sure you turn around and watch the ball. Base defense, scoot in there a little more. Back up, another half a step. You're halfway between the end line and the center line. See, you're right there at like the 10 foot line. Back up another step. Here we go. Nice. Good. Oh, almost a point. Again, that's why we're working on it, just to learn our transition a little better. Good. In the basket even. Let's have you come over and hit middle too. Now we've got three options. How many points have you got? Two? You've got three? I think you have two. Back up just a little bit more. Now you've got a setter front row, you've got a middle attacker, and an outside attacker, okay? Blockers, let's get ready. Hands high. Nice job. All right. Let's switch it up again. Let's play another defense. What's another defense? Rotation. Rotation. We'll rotate to the corner. We've still got three attackers here, our setter, middle, and right side. Here we go. Again, the, the emphasis of this drill is to dig, to block a ball or dig and transition out of the middle. Here we go on this one. Ready? Four. Set. Ready, middle? Here we go. You're going in again every time. Okay, defense, defense, defense. Stop the ball. Let, don't let him make you take off and go somewhere. You got to play the ball first. Four. Here we go. Four. Is there a touch? No touch. Here we go. Nice job. Way to try and run our offense over here. Watch the ball back there. Ready? Great job. That's what we're looking for. There's a point. Ready, middle. Here we go. Nice high reach now. Nice high reach. Ready? Ready to go. Come on. Great job. Looking sharp over there. Watch that ball real quick. Here we go. Let's get one more. Is that two? Play it out of the net. Almost, Brittany. Nice anticipation. Okay, the more she's in there, the more you have to shade this side right now. All right? Great job. Okay, way to cover that. Now, let's line up here again one more time, blockers. And there's all kinds of blocking strategies we can get into. But don't let him, don't let that middle pull you over too much or he'll send it outside all day long. So you've got to kind of stay balanced and get a hand, just get this left hand up here. Get this left hand, keep coming this way a little bit, but then be ready to take off over there, okay? All right, this is a drill we're gonna do to work on team serve reception, and then they're gonna cover their hitter, and then they're gonna go to defense. Uh, right now, we just have two hitters we're gonna work with, and I'll just toss a ball into them. So we can work on whatever defense our team feels like they need to. What defense do you wanna use? Rotation. A rotation defense, okay? So after you receive a serve, you cover your hitter, then we'll go to a, your base defense, and then I'm going to send it in to an attacker. She'll either be on the right side. Let's go left side or right side, and then we'll just uh, let you guys play it out, okay? Good. Eight. Eight. Four. Four. Cover. 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 Get base. Base, 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 base. Here we go. Cover. Cover. Ready? Base defense. Base. Nice job. Way to use her hands. Okay. Let's receive a serve again. Let's look at, talk about our passing rotations. All right. Good. Base defense. Base. Setter, where are you? Help. Help. Nice job. Way to pursue it. All right. Let's receive a serve again. Okay, let's see our rotation. Back. 
Good coverage. Make sure you cover your hitter now. We should dig that up out of the net. All right, here we go. Team serve, receive. Okay, let's have you guys start up there. And if it comes over, you go ahead and attack it back, okay? Then you'll transition off. All right, here we go. Okay, back off. Come back in. Here we go. All right, here we go, ball. Good, nice job, back out, base defense. Cover. You're supposed to be going up and blocking. Oh yeah, every time they hit, we want to try and put stress on them. What defense are we playing? Show me your rotation real quick. You come up, setter, you come up, you're inside. They rotate to the corners. The only time you're back is on a perimeter, okay? All right, let's receive a serve again. All right, here we go. Good, nice job, here we go. Let's try it again. Base defense, ready? Oh, don't ever forget about the setter. Base defense, base defense, ready? Oh, nice job, blockers, ready? Keep playing. Mike, step out here, right here. Mike's in the back row. Ready? What's that called when I said him? Down a down ball. Down, down. ball. Good. Ready? Defense. Playing a rotation. Okay. Let's see. Both of you go in front. What well, you go in front, and she goes behind. All right. Let's receive a serve again. Actually, let's rotate. Let's rotate one serve reception. Ready? Go. Okay, base defense. Hurry, quickly, keep your eye on me. Keep your eye on me. Here we go. Quick on defense. You've got to make sure you get to base, and then they're going to hit it right away, the faster they are. Ready? We're going to get a down ball right here. Good job. What's happening? Cover. Nobody's up. Ready? Outside, 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 go. Oh, got you faked out. Got my whole team faked out. Ready? Oh, my team faked out. What happens then? The setter has to take control. Cover, cover, cover. It's blocked. All over here, cover. You're back off the net. Go, 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 go. Quick, cover. Over. Nice job. What's this? Oh, are you authorized to do that? Have you practiced it? What? Is she a right side? Okay, I think that's really good. If she's practiced it and she caught us off guard, that's good. If you've got a right side that needs to do that, let's let her go ahead and throw those balls in. Very deceptive. Just make sure your coach has had you practice it before you try that. All right, let's receive a serve again. I like that a lot. Okay, here we go. What time? Wait, whoa, 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 let's hold on a second. What kind of defense? Let's change it up. You're in a rotation. Let's play a perimeter. Everybody will be back deep. Okay, here we go. You guys are outside blocking. All right, ready? Okay, here we go. Good job. Ready, here we go. Oh, stay back deep now and make sure you chase through it, but that was a good job. Ready, who's up? Who's up? So how do you know she's up? All right. Cover, cover, cover. Good, back off hitter, here we go. Oh, get that right side hand over it. Defense again, you ready? What's Oh, that was a good one. Nice way to hustle with it, Brittany. Ready? How do you know which way I'm going? You have to read me. Okay, get there, setter. Get stopped. Transition. Oh, don't let me talk you out of paying attention. Ready? Transition. 
We're all in our base defense right here. Good. Yes. That's the easiest thing to do on defense is block the ball. So if we can come up with the right defense against every hitter, we'll be able to be very successful. So if we're playing cross court, we're blocking cross court and putting our defense down the line behind that, that's good. If we're blocking down the line and putting our defense inside, that's fine. So we just went over four team defenses. What were they? A rotation defense. Everybody rotates to the corners. We went over a perimeter defense where everybody's around the outside of the court. Everybody's back deep. The weakness is in the middle. What else did we go over? Man back, Man back or a person back, six back. And they, then we block down the line on that. And then we also went over a setter up here. What other kind of defense is just we go over and you just didn't even know it? Free ball. Yeah, our defense for a free ball, we just back it up and get ready to run our offense. And what about for a down ball? Anybody out of the back row? The only one we want blocking is probably the middle, only if they can block the ball. I don't want you reaching out and touching too many things. Okay, so we know how to uh, receive a ball from their free ball and also a down ball. We learned base. We learned to be ready. We learned we've got 120 degrees we ought to be able to move in quickly. Need to stay down low, protect our shoes, make sure we hold our platform and move forward. I hope you enjoyed this tape we just did on team defense, trying to show you the variety of defenses that are available, and you can set up the right team defense for your team based on your opponent's offense. You may want to change defenses based on each hitter on the other team or just based on the teams that you're playing throughout the season. But I think it's important your team knows more than one defense and understands all the concepts to be able to carry out a great team defense.